Hello everyone. I want to talk about data this morning um, because it's such a dry word, but yet it's so important and so helpful, especially in business as entrepreneurs. We've got to listen to the data. Okay, so a few points on this. Number one, I work in marketing and we get gut feelings with things, you know. I think this would work or I think that would work. I think this is the audience that would be best for your product or I think Giving a you know last minute second thought, doubting myself the last minute, going, oh, this this isn't it, this isn't the right one. I, it's probably next one because I'm going that way, and this road clearly is going that way. So I missed the exit, turned back around. Lesson learned. But uh, but I'm going off of my gut instinct when I do that instead of the data because if I simply raise my eyes up to the green signs that are everywhere. That the government has so beautifully placed in front of us. The, the green sign says your destination, your freeway, your exit, your road, whatever it is that you want, is this exit right here. This is the one. And if I just pay attention and follow the signs and nothing else, regardless of how the road looks, if I simply pay attention to the signs, what's the writing that's in front of me, the data, then I'm fine. And of course, I have apps and technology that could just tell me exactly where to go or how to get there, but that's a different story. Anyways, the point is, we have data everywhere in our lives. We, have, we are in a, such a data-driven world, but yet are we really taking advantage of it? And are we really utilizing it to help us make smart decisions? You know, if you're in sales and you're tracking your sales and your data suggests one thing, the growth projections based on the data. Why are you setting your goals to 10x your business when you know you're struggling, bobbling along? You've never really even doubled your revenue in uh, in the time that you've been in business. I don't know. I'm just saying, go with more logical, data-driven decisions. Now I understand there's this thing called killing it, crushing it, coming out of nowhere, and we all want to do that, right? We all want to be that that one poster child that just comes out of nowhere and like, man, how did he do that? Or how did she, how did she just own that and, and uh, crush those numbers? Look at that. And we see these case studies. I see them on Facebook groups and all over where people come out of the woodwork. But they don't show you a couple of things. They only show you part of the story. But secondly, I would consider it not the norm. I would say that's kind of the exception to the rule, not the rule itself. So if you really want to be more realistic about your expectations of yourself, pay more attention to the data and make decisions 
based more on what the data suggests. And that doesn't mean make, don't make or shy away from setting goals and pushing yourself and stretching your limits. All that stuff is so important, so real. But in the goal setting world, there's so much of this, um, you know, the big, hairy, audacious goal, B-A-H-G. Um, these goals that are like, you know, set huge goals because they drive you and they get you excited. And so we set these huge goals and then we don't even, we don't even make much progress on them. And then we flop and then we feel like failures and then we repeat the cycle. We get all excited in January 1st. This is why New Year's resolutions don't work. Because January 1st, we want to take on the whole world. We want to go like, you know, I, you know, this is uh, this is it for me. This is a new beginning. This is this is January. I'm starting over. And I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to do it. And we set and we make all these unrealistic expectations, throwing out data, throwing out anything logical. Like, well, you know, you come from a place of this, so even this much would be a huge win for you. But instead, we throw out, nope, this is it. Cold turkey. I'm doing it. And every once in a while, someone is actually able to do that. So I'm not discounting that success that they're having. But the odds are that is not going to happen. The odds are you will set huge goals, you'll overwhelm yourself, and you'll give up. And you'll make you know a little bit of progress. And then people say, well, hey, shoot for the moon, at least you'll get the stars. You know, I think those are all little pearls of wisdom, W-I-S-D-U-M-B. You hear me talk about wisdom because it is dumb and it's dumb thinking that we all kind of subscribe to. Anyways, um, those are some thoughts this morning on data. Get some data uh, points in your life. Get some ways to measure. On my 3 by 5 cards, I put in, uh, this is one of the last things that I had to the card, was a little score, um, a place for scoring up in the corner. You can score your progress. You have to have a way to, to apply some element of tangibility to your progress. You have to way, have a way of tracking. If you're you know, a blogger, you're looking at stats, you're looking at visitors, you're looking at clicks, you're looking at... And don't overwhelm yourself with too many data points. Don't try and bring in you know, 15 data points and analyze everything. Just start simple. What is the most critical? What do you try to achieve? I want sales. I want clicks to the website. I want traffic. I want, you know, whatever it is, there's a way to measure the data, track the data, track, start simple, track simple, and pay attention to it and let the data drive your decisions. That's the message for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for listening in and have an awesome day.